So you can do anything, anything that you want to do if you set you set your mind to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, here I am only doing this for what, two years in fashion and I'm sitting at a Louis Vuitton show. I went to Chanel. I went to Dior. I've been to Ball Maine. I'm taking pictures with supermodels. You know what I'm saying? Like. said yeah yes yeah, vintage jam I mean it'd be hard to find I'll, I won't be able to find this again it's crazy because like it's California but it's like it's hot as hell it's 80 degrees out here but I'm about to go to Paris and London and New York and it's freezing so we're looking for all authentic vintage tees we don't want any, we don't, we don't want any um, replicas, nothing fake, it's all authentic. Ooh, so look, I need to put a sticker right there, an out here girl sticker, yeah, it's skinny, ah, on her nose. We don't litter around here. That's one thing I notice, like when I go to Paris and I, when I go to Italy, like the ground is so clean because people throw their rubbish, they throw it away. But here in America, we just wanna just throw trash. Well, there's obviously trash cans here. Some trash away, people. So I think it's time to go get a smoothie. Hello for Raven. Raven? Yes. So I started outheregirls.com. Um, I went and got it um, registered as LLC and um, opened up a bank account, a business account. Like it's, it's a legit business, you know? And um, got business cards, you feel me? And Pretty much out here, girls, it just represents just women in general of all genres, just um, getting out and doing what they want to do, like being a go-getter. That's what an out here girl is, is a go-getter. It's a woman that says, sets goals for herself and says, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make this happen for myself. And it's not depending on anybody else to do anything for her. It's a woman that has it set in her mind that she's going to go out and do it herself. I mean, everybody always needs a team, but it's just a way of saying, like, I'm not going to piggyback off of someone else. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to go. I'm going to take the longer route, the harder, harder route and go get it myself. I'm not going to take the easy route and cheat and, you know, just get put on because I know someone or, you know what I'm saying, or, or I'm affiliated with this person or this person. No, it's a girl starting from the bottom, climbing all the way to the top. That is an out here girl. So. <laughs> So I try to have like, um, I definitely do a, a raw juice cold press. I do those at least four to five times a week. And then, you know, I'll treat myself to a smoothie, um, you know, maybe once a week. I'm very strict on my diet. Um, I'm a, what you call a pescatarian. I eat fish. Um, I did the vegan. It wasn't really for me, like vegan. I just felt fatigued all the time. And plus uh, I need my eggs, I need my eggs and I need my lobster and salmon and shrimp. Now, I mean, I could do without the shrimp, honestly, but lobster for sure, crab and salmon, like fish is everything to me, pescado. A lot of water, alkaline water is the best. Just go to Trader Joe's and get the, uh, I think it's like 9.5 uh, pH in there. And it's cheap and get like stack up and get like for the week, 10, 12 bottles a week. So I make a, I make a trip to Trader Joe's I would say twice a week. 
for sure. Come to Creations, and all the smoothies are really good. It's not like one is my favorite, I like them all. So, cheers. Our first New York Fashion Week. Um, shout out to Bella, um, Global Sophisticate. Um, I hired her and they took care of everything, got me into the shows. And I had a really good time. It was like stress free, it was so cool. And like I got to see all the clothes before it came out. And it was like, like a kid going to Disneyland. I'm telling you, like, I was just so blown away by the experience that I just completely fell in love with it. So from there, I went to London. I did that one on my own and I experienced, you know, overseas for the first time. And that was amazing. Shout out to London, I love you. That's, that's so, so much love over there, I can't even explain it. And then um, I went to Paris for the first time and I'm telling you, when I seen the Eiffel Tower, my heart fell out of my chest. It was crazy. Um, so it was my, I went overseas and I'm like, man, as a rapper, I never went overseas. <laughs> So now I'm in this fashion stuff, like I'm, I'm like, I'm in Paris, this is crazy. I'm going back to Fashion Week again. I just did Men's Fashion Week. I did Louis Vuitton. I saw uh, Kim Jones's last show. I saw Kate Moss. I saw uh, Naomi Campbell walk on the, on the runway. Like, can you imagine? You know what I'm saying? Like, I see that with my own eyes. I was there, I was sitting down watching this. It was amazing. Um, so you can do anything anything that you want to do if you set you set your mind to it you know what i'm saying like here i am only doing this for what two years in fashion and i'm sitting at a louis vuitton show i went to chanel i went to dior i've been to ball maine i'm taking pictures with supermodels you know what i'm saying like these are girls that i've always looked up to and like admired and now i'm like amongst them i'm in their presence so it's just amazing it's no stress it's fun i'm around beautiful people Everybody's just there to have a good time. The clothes are amazing and beautiful. And we're going on a journey. We're gonna continue this journey and it's gonna be a lot more to come. So stay tuned. Let the child eat. We're gonna say the blessing. We're gonna bless this here, the lovely delicatessen over here. Dear Lord, I'd like you to bless this food. Let it be a nurse into my body. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessed. This here we have uh, the buffalo. It's the buffalo vegan wings. And this is the chill out wings. And we got like the uh, jalapeno red sauce, I believe, and ranch. Let's dip into this loveliness right here with this ranch. You see, you gotta put it in a ranch. You gotta just, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't do that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's just too bad. Thank you, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. First episode. This is my first episode. I was a little nervous at first, but I warmed up towards the end. But I want you to see that, though. I want to keep this all the way real, all the way 100. There's no script. We're not faking anything. This is real life right here. This is my lifestyle. This is the lifestyle of Raven Servino. So you just saw episode one. Thank you. And we're going to hopefully continue and get this going. We will, not hopefully, we will continue and get this going because I'm an out here girl. Peace.